Welcome back. It feels so good to be back. So I am not 100%, but I'm here. And here's the grand reveal. I told you guys I would be cutting my own hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the seven to eight inches laying in the sink. So yeah, here she is. I like it. I haven't done this since April. So I did just a tad shorter than this in April. And what are we? February. So yeah, it grew about eight, nine inches in 10 months. So it's been crazy, but I'm enjoying it. I think it's going to be a little crazy with the, these short layers when I'm trying to do my eye looks. So our little Kara ears are definitely going to come in handy and our little headbands. So today, because I cannot wear any eye makeup, I'm still recovering from the eye issue I had going on. And thank you so very much to all of you that reached out to me, text message, Marco Polo, DM'd me. If I commented on your videos, you commented back asking how I was doing. I appreciate it. That was so sweet and I thank you all so much. So it was rough. I would say a, a good three days. I was in agoniz agonizing pain. It was just, it was unbearable. Um, but I'm better now. I'm not 100%, so it's okay. So today we're gonna take a look at all of the of all of the Westman Atelier products because I showed you guys this teal blue Burberry nail polish. Here it is. I did do my nails with it today, and I added a little gold nail art. It's a nice color. I'm liking it. I did it on my feet as well. So let's get started with the Westman Atelier. But before we go, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'll, I'm also in a new filming space. So I did move my filming space to my craft room because I started my craft channel. So I will have it linked down below, but I will have hopefully my first video, if not before this video goes up, the same day or after. So I'm excited. I'm excited. So let's get started. I'm just going to use just my little regular headband today. I do have my brows on. I don't have mascara or anything on my eyes. I did dab a little concealer um, where I'm having the, so it was a clogged tear duct. So it was like all of this. And then they made me massage it towards the waterline, towards the lash line. And they said it would turn into a sty and then start to drain. So that is currently the state I'm in. So there's like a little ball there. Let me tell you, I'm not mad that I'm oily skin because I never knew what dry skin people go through until I had to put hot compresses on my eye every hour and it dried my lids and it started scaling. So this is the foundation. It does have a magnetized top. And I believe this is, yes, it's in Atelier and that is shade six. So I will swatch that for you. So here it is. So I am in my new filming space. I am downstairs like near the family room. So if you hear the family being a family, then so be it. So I'm going to start with the foundation. Now I do have my brows, a little spot concealer, and that's it. That's all I have on. So I'm gonna do one side with a brush and the other side with a sponge. So I'm going to and I've never tried a stick foundation before, but, and I don't know how much is too much. I like, I have no idea, but Jen from Alfeisty raves about this and it is now at Sephora. And I decided to go with shade six because I saw Jennifer from Just Glow Firefly is shade five. 
Gigi from Gigi's Beauty is a shade seven. And I feel I was somewhere in between. So I was like, okay, let's go with six. And I feel it's a pretty good shade. I will say it's not like a deep coverage. It's a light coverage. And I'm okay with that. As you guys know, I have oily skin. I suffer with hormonal acne, which is a little swollen situation I got going on here. It's a the hormonal time for me. And she came to visit. So I will say this is a light coverage. I wonder if you can build it up, but keep in mind, this is the, the side with the sponge and the sponge typically does absorb product, shear it out. So I'm gonna try to just stamp where I want that additional coverage and see if it gives it to us. And I do have the Chanel, Le Corrector de Chanel concealer on. I did that prior to. So as you can see, it definitely built up to a medium coverage. Let's see. And it does not look cakey. So I probably shouldn't get near my eyes at this point, but <laughs> so there you go. That is the foundation with a sponge. So on this side, I'm going to go in with a brush. I don't even know what brush this is, but it's more dense and it has a little angle. And I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation. I don't know if I'll need it. And it does blend beautifully with the sponge and so far so good with the brush. At first I thought the shade may have been a little dark, but it does sheer out. So if you're not familiar with Westman Atelier, um, it is a brand that is Embrace your natural beauty, but enhance it just a bit type of, see, mm, she's there. But enhance it just a bit or, you know, everybody has things they're insecure about or they want to change about themselves. And it's kind of like love yourself and just give yourself a little enhancement type of makeup line versus a just pile it on. And I'm okay with that. You know, like a natural makeup line. And now that I'm more confident with the direction my skin's going, I definitely don't mind it. So there you go. Obviously, I'm going to add a little bit more here and here. And we'll see where the blemishes are. And then instead of swiping, I'm going to dab it and see what happens. So when dabbing it, I can definitely see like the areas that I added additional coverage. So I'm gonna go in with the sponge and just 
on the areas where it did additional coverage. So it is a natural finish. It's a nice finish. I've never tried a stick foundation and this actually was pretty easy. So I'm going to let that sink into the skin while I take a look. So this does have an 18 month shelf life and it is made in Italy. And as I mentioned before, Westman Atelier is now at Sephora. So, so let's take a look at the other products I picked up. So if you saw my haul live, you saw some, but I got one more since then. So let's take a look. Let me get them out of the boxes. So all of the products do have an 18 month shelf life. So this is the contour. And this one is in the shade Truffle, which is the darkest of the two. There is definitely a lighter, more cool toned, but we all know how much I love to bronze. So that is like the contour bronzer. Face Trace Contour Stick. So I think it's a good bronzer shade. And these do sheer out quite a bit. So I went with the blush. I went with Poppet, which is more of a brighter pink, which I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> like that's really pink. And then it's Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the shade Poppet. And I do want to pick up a few more of the blushes. And then this is the highlighter in the shade Lit. So this looks white, but you guys, if you saw my live when I swatched this, it has, there you go, you can see it, like a lavender shift. It is beautiful. I, I was shocked when I swatched this compared to how it looks on here. So that's stunning. And I do have one other highlighter. So I'll do one highlighter on one side and one on the other. And this one is Nectar. I believe this is the same shade Jennifer from All Feisty has a video on or used in her last um, Westman Atelier video. And then you can see that here. So it's more of a wet peachy look. And you can't really, I don't feel like it shows a lot of pigment on me, but you can definitely see it shining. And I did it right here across the wrist. So that is everything. So I'm going to start with the contour bronzer. And that is in the shade Truffle. And then I will use this Tarte. It's like a dense brush but it's not round, it's more like, it's thick, but it's narrower here and just longer up and down. So I'm gonna start by applying it here. And I'm trying to stay away from the front I got on my face over there. And then I'm kind of putting it everywhere where I would put bronzer, um, but I should probably see how much it shears out before I keep adding. Well, that shears out nicely. Um, 
I definitely love the shade. Look at that snatched jawline. So next I will, so you wanna bring it into your hairline and then buff <laughs> so it doesn't look like you purposely have a mask on. I love how warm this shade is. It's my kind of warm. Now, this is my first impressions. I would have to wear this because I'm oily like throughout the day on its own and then try it with powder products over it to kind of set it to see what works best from for me so because i'm oily so let me know if you're interested in a follow-up video or in another video where i do i could do a wear test and do one side just all the westman atelier cream products and then one side set it i don't have time to do that today as a wear test uh because it is already dinner time and I want to give you an accurate, I would like to give you a good wear test as far as time and true wear. Now I will say this is like a huge blemish. So as soon as I just started blending this out, all the foundation that was there is now gone. But I can easily touch that up. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna go in with a tad on my finger because I feel the warmth of my finger will really blend that in together. And there you go, which is not bad at all. Like, it prob I don't know if it appears on camera as big as it is, but <laughs> she came, she came. But look how beautifully that sheared out and gave that beautiful bronze that we all know I just love. So I'm going to blend this side. And I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, it blends beautifully with the fingers. Now I want to go in with a little dab more. I feel like if you use your fingers, you can use less product. Because I feel like my brush picked up a lot of that product. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you guys know I love to be bronzed. I really like this a lot. Let's see if we do the nose, what that'll look like. And if you're gonna bronze or contour your nose, bring it up to the start of your brow, just that little corner. And then that's kind of like a stark line. So I'm gonna blend it out just a little bit. That's nice. So let me know in the comments below, now that Westman Atelier is at Sephora, are you interested in giving it a try? Have you already purchased to give it a try? I feel like when products are more easily accessible to everyone, um, such as Sephora Ulta, <clears throat> then it brings more attention and interest in the brand. And that is definitely what happened with me. So I'd been interested. I've been wanting to try it in leaving 2020 behind. I said Westman Atelier was definitely one of the brands I wanted to try in 2021. 
And as soon as I saw it come to Sephora, I placed an order and you guys did vote. <laughs> So I'm going to just dab this and I think I'm going to blend this in with my finger. And this little friend of mine over here is tender to the touch. So I'm just going to I feel I like, I like it better when I touch my finger to it versus putting it on my face, that actual blush. And as you can see, as I said, and as you can see, as I said, these do sheer out. I'm pretty sure you can definitely build it up. So let's just shear this one out. And if we're going to build it up, we can try to build it up and see how the blush looks when we build it up. As you can see, I brought the cream, the blush up just like I would any other blush. I'm going to go in on two fingers and just try to build this up and see how it looks. And it still shears out, but it does give more pigment. It's so beautiful and like a true, I've been outside in the snow, even though I haven't, I would like some snow. I'm just so glad that Texas finally warmed up. They're literally just thawing out. I keep everyone in Texas in my thoughts and my prayers and anyone who's been affected by any of the recent catastrophic mother nature events so there you can see so i built it up a little more here and you see that natural healthy glow like i am okay with that glow the problem is how will it wear when my oils seep through and i'm not saying that's a problem well that's that's the we're yet to see so this is the highlighter in the shade Lit, which is the more lavender one. Sorry about that, I felt I was a little dark. I just turned the light up. So I'm gonna go in right here. And I tend not to bring my highlighter too far to the cheekbone. Let me see if I get more. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but it's definitely. See, I like the, I like the blush better applying it with my finger. And I like the highlighter better applying it directly to the face. So this one is in the shade Lit. I really like this one. So next on this side, we will try Nectar, which is the shade I swatched across my wrist. And I'm going to try with my finger. See, that looks really nice with my finger. Really pretty. Can you see the glow? There you go. Like this highlighter really makes the area of your highlight look like glass. Like it really does. Now I want to intensify the other side. Let me go in with my finger. 
Here you go. See that? Such a beautiful, just subtle, glass-like highlight. I wonder if, let's see what it does to the cupid's bow. Oh, that's a little too much. But it's still beautiful. So this is nectar and this is lit. Oh, so far I think the highlighter <laughs> and the contour are my favorite. Okay, so I did put on a little lipstick and I used the Victoria Beckham Posh lipstick in the shade Sway. Keep it neutral and light and airy. So I'm really on first impressions. I like the foundation. I'm nervous on how it'll wear once my oils seep through. So it is currently, let me look at my laptop, sorry. It is currently 6.56 p.m. So I can try to wear it about four hours or so and then leave a pinned comment or something in the description box. But I'm really liking how it looks on my forehead. It looks like I have nothing on my forehead. This bronzer shade is beautiful. Like this could be a quick run out the door look. Very stunning. Obviously, I'd probably do a one and done shadow, but I can't currently wear shadow. But the highlighter is definitely the star of the show. The highlighter and the bronzer. And the blush, I would have to play around with it and try to give it more oomph. Because if I can build this up, I would pick up more shades. If I can't, I would have to be selective with the shades that I would get because I don't want it to look like I don't have on any blush either. Um, but I could definitely try different application methods. I'm thinking next time I'll probably, actually let's try it now. Let me see, let's give it a try now and see what it would look like if I use a sponge. Yeah, that builds up. You see, I really, really like the blushes too. <laughs> like I just, so since I covered that highlighter up, by piling on more blush, I'm going to just add a little more highlight. Yeah, the highlights are definitely the star of the show. And like I said before, just because I'm oily doesn't mean I don't like a good, shiny, healthy glow. So I would say the fingers definitely sheer it out more. If you can add additional coverage with the sponge and probably a brush with the blush so in that case i will definitely invest in a few more of these blushes if they wear well but this highlighter like i'm looking at the viewfinder and i'm like whoa like i see just the glass look and i love it and it just looks natural and healthy and beautiful but of course it's all going to be determined on how it wears so here's a closer up and the highlighter on this side is nectar. And here's a close up on this side and the highlighter on this side is lit. And I don't feel like it's insinuating like my large enlarged pores or anything like it just looks natural. Like exactly how my pores look after I do my skincare, I like it. What do you guys think? 
I will definitely, if I, ooh, if I could only slap a shadow on, yeah, if I could only put a shadow on, I definitely will. But thank you guys so much for being here today. Until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.